Hi, I'm going to show you how to use apibioxal. So I'm going to show you how to mix it, which a lot of people are a little bit worried about when you're talking about quite a strong chemical. You want to get it right, otherwise it's either not effective or you run the risk of harming your bees. And then I'll show you actually how, how to apply it uh, back in the field there with my beehives. So you need some sugar or some syrup already made up. You will need a syringe, a pair of scissors, a measuring jug with the um, quantities illustrated and then a whisk and some safety glasses, latex gloves and a mask which I'm sure you've all, all got um, under these circumstances. So first of all then you need to understand that 35 grams will treat 10 hives so it's 3.5 grams per hive um, and that is administered in a syringe to 50 millilitres. How do you mix it up? Well, very, very simple. Rather than try and calculate the exact amount of sugar and the exact amount of um, mixture here, the uh, apibioxal and the exact amount of water, simply just make up a mixture of sugar and water Dissolve it in a pan at a ratio of one bag of sugar to one litre of water. So actually that might sound familiar because that is exactly the same recipe that you would use for a winter feed for your bees. I've already melted some syrup in the pan here. It's just come off the, uh, the cooker and I'm now going to apply the apibioxal to it. So first of all, I'm going to tip it into the measuring jug up to 500 millilitres. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to treat 10 hives today. Obviously, you would uh, reduce that down if you're going to do less than that. You must remember this, this apibioxal, once it's opened, it's got a shelf life if you seal the bag of around about three months. That's what the manufacturer recommends, as long as you keep it dry and cool. Uh, when you buy it, it's usually got about two years life um, span on it. But once you've made it up into a syrup, you've really got to use it within 24 hours. That's also what the manufacturer recommends. So I have got 500 ml of syrup in the pan here. So I'm going to now put my mask on and my safety goggles, my latex gloves. eventually. Okay, then, quite simply, open the sachet, some white, white powder, and with a whisk. So just to recap then, it's 35 grams of apibioxal to 500 millilitres of sugar and water syrup. So I'm just going to stir that until it dissolves. And then I'm going to put it in a sealed tub and go over to my bees. Some people, what you can do actually is put it into a thermos flask once it's not it's warm. The reason being if you imagine a lot of beekeepers would actually treat this liquid in the middle of winter. So the last thing you would, that your bees really want is, a, is an icy cold shower in the middle of winter. So keep it nice and warm. And the other reason is obviously if it does cool down to um, a very cold temperature, then the syrup is going to thicken up and it won't be so easy to trickle over your bees. Okay, so that's pretty well clear. I'm going over to feed my bees, to treat my bees in a moment. Okay, we're in the second week of January and I'm going to treat my hives with um, apibioxal, a uh, trickle method. Uh, my friends here are helping out as usual, so let's go and have a little look. Here I have the smoker 
I've got a hive tool and a brush and I've got 50 milliliters of the made up apipioxal liquid. So we've got the hive here and here we go. Beekeepers usually recommend the middle of winter when the queen is at its most dormant because then one treatment will kill all the mature varroa and there are no larvae or eggs carrying the varroa eggs to manifest themselves after you've treated and then um, your infestation happens again in the springtime. So here we have my hive. Carefully remove the super there, empty super used as an eek in this case. As you can see, um, I, I tend to put some kind of fondant feed in there pretty well all winter. The reason for this is that if your bees want to feed, it's there. So if you get a warmer spell or if you're in that sort of mood, fine. And if you look very carefully, you can see this little hole in the middle up here. This, it's now the second week of January. I put this, uh, this stuff on in October and already they're eating their way through it. Um, and as soon as they finish that, I'm gonna put another one there. The advantage of that is that if they think there's, there's food there, you'll stimulate, stimulate the queen to lay eggs and you'll get a much longer season out of them. So here we go. I've brought my smoker. They won't be very active, but who knows? Best to be prepared. A little tiny puff there. This is minimal disruption really, because I'm aware that it's only really today. It's only about four, it's a still day. It's only about four or five degrees. And there we are. So they're fairly tightly balled, I've got to say. So very quickly, with my 50 mil, it's up and down each row of the frames. So you equally give them your sugar syrup, happy bioxal solution equally. That's about done and that's it. Without delay, pop the crown board back on there. All seems good. And then, oh, I've got a few people escaped here, so I'm just gonna gently brush those somewhere towards the front so they can just get back home quickly. And there we are, that's it.